Hi guys, you have Bex Kaleido here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to get any future videos that I put out there. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be mainly about the Subculture Palette by Anastasia and also one product from the Fenty line, which is a duo highlighter. Now, why did I choose to make to do these two products together? One, the Subculture Palette had a lot of, like, well, y'all know. It had a lot of drama on social media, on YouTube, and honestly, I definitely want to put products to the test before I just take someone else's word for it. Um, and in doing so, I found out that the Subculture Palette by Anastasia is actually really, 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 really good, you guys. Like, I actually really love it, only because, as you can tell, I'm a little bit olivey undertone. So for me, these colors are super freaking complimentary, and I've actually been waiting for a palette with this color scheme. So, I mean, there's a, there's, that's why there are so many beauty products out there, because everyone has a different taste, everyone has a different preference and idea of what beauty is. So, you know, before you shut it down, you know, because you heard someone say something, try it out for yourself, see how you like it. So, you know, the on, in the subculture palette, I was just enchanted by the green shades like the Untamed, Access, um, even Destiny, even though it's more like on the taupey green, not so like bright, vivid side, I can definitely see how I can use it and you guys, I love it. So that tackles the color scheme um, that was talked about about the Anastasia subculture palette. Moving on to issue two, the fallout of the product. Um, honestly, Anastasia has always had um, very thick and creamier formulas, so I kind of already expected that to happen. Like if I wanted a buildable product as opposed to a product that has a lot of pigment, that has a lot of that fallout, I would have gone with something like MAC, because MAC is more of a buildable eyeshadow powder than Anastasia or Lorac. Um, so, if, you know, going into Anastasia, you should know that the eyeshadows are pigmented. Like, that's, that's like her staple. There are three different formulas in the palette, one of them being just these matte shades right here. All of these, not this one, these, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and as for um, electric and cubic, those two I love. However, I notice a lot of people just kind of like swatch it with their finger or try to go in there with a fluffy brush where like that's not going to work with this kind of formula. Um, what is going to work is a really almost like a concealer brush. Um, synthetic fibers, really dense. It's kind of great because they actually put that in with the brush duo. So those shades you definitely don't want to pick up with the fluffy end. With this formula as well, it's very, very easy to grow a skin. Like you know when you have the oils or any kind of bacteria of an unwashed brush or of the finger, when you um, like when you swatch it, it gets that layer of bacteria. And over time, if you don't scrape that layer off, it's just gonna look like a nasty color. And a lot of people come up to me and ask me like, do I just throw this away? Do I get a new one? What's going on? No, just scrape off the first few layers, the skin, and um, you should be fine. And then of course, there's a shade Cubic, which is a lighter shade. Uh, this one right here, you can't really see that it has a pink iridescent undertone to it when it's in the palette, but if you like, Ooh, but if you scrape it off just a little bit and then apply it and kind of crush that pigment as opposed to picking it up with a brush that's really how you're gonna get that intense color that you're looking for without having to use um, you know having to go back in and go back in because that's what's gonna give you that kickback as it as they say so all in all guys for me the subculture was a total freaking 10 like I love this palette. They do still have some in stock at Namie's. They give a 30% off if you're a makeup artist or a cosmetologist. I believe if you're a SAG card member, you get a 20% off. Also, if you check in on Yelp, you get a 10% off your whole purchase. Make sure to let them know that Bex Kaleido sent you.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram at Bex Makeup to just keep up with me with all the looks that I'll be doing. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.